Hey guys, welcome back to another Floor Sculpture video. Uh, your boy Rob. Uh, today I'm going to be changing the brake pads and brake discs on the front of my uh, daily Ford Mondeo. It's a 2 litre T uh, CDI. The um, reason why I'm going to change them is I noticed uh, probably about a week ago when I changed the tyre that the, uh, the brake discs were quite warped. Uh, brake pads were low and also you could feel it you know, in general driving. I do quite a lot of uh, motorway miles as well so as part of my servicing that I'll do next weekend um, I'm going to change the brake pads uh, and brake discs. I did change the brake pads on the rear, uh, the discs were fine just that the pads were getting low. Uh, so what I'm going to do now, just run you through the bits that you'll need uh, to carry out uh, the, what, the job uh, to change your discs and your pads and I'll do that now. Right, so first things first is um, you need yourself uh, uh, your brake discs there. So I've got two of them for both the uh, driver side and passenger side. Uh, your brake pads uh, again for your front um, passenger side and uh, driver side. Uh, blue roll and some uh, brake brake cleaner. So there you go. That's cleaning up your disc because when you uh, purchase them, they come. Um, like coated in an oil, uh, just basically to preserve them and stop them from rusting. So you need to ideally, well, you need to take it off basically. Uh, some penetrating fluid, uh, just for your uh, bolts before you start trying to take them off, just so that you can lubricate them and make it easier for getting them off. And then a uh, trusty old socket set. Um, I think there'll be 13s on here, um, but we'll find out when I start taking them off. Uh, then you'll need your um, piston wind kit, so you'll need that to uh, wind the piston back once you, uh, you know, dismantle the whole thing. Um, that'll help you to um, push the piston back because the new pads that you put in will be bigger than, oh, sorry, fatter than the ones that you take off. Therefore, you need to push it back to, you know, make it all fit. But you'll see when we get through into the process. Um, axle stand and trolley jack. And also you need some of these chocks as well, just to make sure that the car doesn't roll back when you jack it up. Um, so safety first. So what I'm going to do now is just start jacking the car up. And then, um, yeah, when you see the video, one side will already done, so you can see one side done. And then I'll show you the process complete from the other side. Right, so the car's jacked up. Now I was going to show you once I've been done before, but I thought I'm going to get straight to it because the weather looks like it's going to start raining. So got the car jacked up and on the, the car jack, uh, wheel off, and uh, yeah, I'll just show you the condition of the disc. As you can see, it's quite warped, and also the size of the uh, brake pads as well. But when it uh, clears up, there you go. So as you can see, it's pretty bad. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'll start uh, spraying all the nuts on the back, uh, get them, um, get some penetrating fluid on there, and then I'll uh, start uh, dismantling it all. Yeah, one thing I forgot to mention is just make sure that you check your car manual, just to make sure you're jacking points, and make sure you're safe. Um, check mine, that's where it advised me to put the, the jacks. So what I'm going to do now, just spray these bolts, a bit of uh, penetrating fluid. Get all four of them. So basically what we want to be doing is taking um, the caliper part off as well as the carrier uh, section as well. Um, these bolts uh, for the slider pins, what I call them, are a 13mm and behind which holds the whole unit back onto the hub. Um, that is a 15mm. So, uh, alright, I'll start with the, the sliders. Okay, pretty easy. Yes, what you'll also need is a uh, a uh, little adjustable spanner basically to put on this little plate here. I guess it's a locking plate, so when you tighten this up, that locks against the back of this, um, let's say, uh, pad carrier. Uh, so, what we kind of need to do now is just make sure we can get a hold of it, which 
we have now and then we can undo it Right, what I'm going to do now is just go and get uh, some tie wraps and tie wrap this to the coil here because what we don't want to do is it pulling and dangling down on the brake lines because they're quite delicate. So I'll just stop recording, wrap them in a safe place and I'll carry on filming. Right, I've got a, a pretty heavy duty cable tie so i just put it through that hole where the bolts just come out of go to one of your top coils if you want it, you just want to get it out of the way. There's a fair bit of weight in this piston. But... Get that on there like that. And that'll just keep it out of the way. Just make sure we're up to on the line so we'll now get on to the 15 mil yeah, actually before we do that I'll get these pads out if can. might come out the other way so yeah just before That's the two bolts loose. Probably won't be able to get this off now because of all the rust and with so that holds your pistons in uh, we'll give that a good clean as well all the channels where it sits into it's 
uh, looks like there's quite a lot of uh, debris in there so we'll clean all this up make sure that it's okay all right so just for a comparison uh, that's the old the old brake pad and that's the new I mean you can see straight away <laughs> there's not a lot of meat left on these and they're pretty much a, a direct swap as well so you should have no issues uh, fitting them uh, so what we're going to do now is the runners the runners here just going to wire brush them just to get all the the rust, the debris, you know, like all the brake dust, everything. Just make sure that um, it's all clear. Just do a power side stop. Make sure you don't catch your little slide. You slide rubbers. Just give it a good wire brushing. usually do is just put a bit of a little bit of copper grease in there. Obviously trying to make sure that you avoid the brake disc and pads at the same time. So they look pretty clean to me. And sometimes you'll find that they don't always fit straight away so you do have to get a grinder to them take the edge off, but if they're okay, he says. You need them tight, but you still need to uh, be able to let them slide backwards and forwards. So that's why we use the copper grease. So what I'm going to do is get the angle grinder, start taking a tiny little bit of this edge off both sides, put a bit of copper grease in and these will be um, ready to go. Right so <clears throat> what I've done is it's just a little bit really, I mean you can still see some of the paint there, uh, just cleaned it up a little bit. It just makes them, like I say, slide in a little bit easier. And what I tend to do is a little bit of um, copper grease, just a little dab, you don't need to go too crazy. carrier now the brake pad cab, uh, carrier I think it's called I'm not sure right and then we'll move on to getting off uh, the old brake disc now uh, there's a couple, couple of clips one there and one there just get them off with a screwdriver like so try not to damage them because we don't need to reuse them it stops the disc from moving when the curtain will come using the curtain Out with the old and then in with the new. 
uh, as I was saying before. Let's see if you can see it. Let me break this. I'm going to take my glove off for this actually, just so I don't get any contact with it. So it's a brake cleaner. Spray it all around. Make sure you, you cover everything. And just get a bit of blue roll. Just uh, wipe it all the way around. Make sure you get any grease, oil, that type of thing off there. Same on the back side as well. I don't know if you can see. There's like lines where you can see where the grease is. Just give it a liberal spray. Free spray cleaner. Get it all off. Then that is ready to go on. Like so. Put the retainer clips back on. So, sorry, <laughs> the disc on, he was looking at four. So I hope it gives you confidence to do this yourself. It is fairly easy, as long as you are confident with the tools as such. And, you know, believe in yourself, you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. Right, okay, so next thing to do is uh, push the piston back in. Um, so I'll basically take piston off the hanger and then the next minute I'll have the winding tool kit and then we'll wind the piston back in and you'll see why in a second. Right so what I'm going to do is offer the uh, the carrier over the pads onto the disc and then we'll put the two 15mm bolts back in. Without banging the head, that is. So when you tighten them, obviously you have to make sure that they're tight, but you don't want to do it too tight because you've got to get them off again at some point. So just normally what I do is get them tight and just nip them up like so. Then we come to the fun part. So Tiled in the piston. And I don't know if you can see, but I'll make sure you can. When you come to put the 
lights on. In fact, this would probably be a better angle to do it. When you try to put it on, the piston's too far out. So what you need to do is push the piston back in, so that way it fits over the new pads and the new disc. So I'll just set the winding tool up and I'll show you how to do it. Right, so we've got the tool winder and then we've got the part that sits inside of the, uh, the piston itself like so. Make that as small as you can, then you fit it in between this part here and that part there. But what we'll do is we'll just put it in there because it sticks in. And then what you want to do is unwind it out. So I've just wound it in. And when you wind it, you're pushing against this part here, which in turn twists and push the piston in. And usually you want the piston itself uh, level, level with this part here. So this this part of the piston needs to be level with that. So yeah. Well, it's just starting to go back in now. You can see. Nice and easy. Sometimes these can be quite stiff. How old they are, whether they've been looked after or not. Um, but this is moving fairly free, so there's, it's not seized or anything like that. And just make sure you've got hold of it as well, because, like I said before, this is really heavy, heavy as such. So that's pushed all the way in. Just undo that, and then you put your full winding tool out. There you go. Then this, all being well, will fit straight over the pad light. Wow. So now what I need to do is get two 13mm bolts and it back in. Now, one thing as well. Tell you. I've already done it while I was uh, on the floor and the camera was off but just make sure that these slider pins do function because sometimes it can be uh, stiff, corroded, that type of thing but they feel fine. Push that back in there. Right, so what I'll do now, tighten both these bolts up. Get me a little adjustable bolt. Again, you don't need heat on strength, just tighten it up enough. And there you have it. One new disc and two new pads complete. One thing you need to remember as well is once you've done this, and you've got it all, you've got the other side done, is pump your brakes, keep pumping them, you know, give them, you know, I don't know, five, ten pumps. That'll push the piston onto the back of the uh, pad 
and that, um, that way you don't end up driving down the road going for your brakes and not having any brakes. So I hope this helped and uh, yeah I'll um, go to the outro. Thanks for watching guys, I hope this helps you change your brake pads, your brake discs on the front of your Ford Mondeo. I uh, just want to thank you for watching as always, um, you know if you want to share love please uh, share, like and subscribe, it really helps the channel. Um, I do this for you know my hobby in the spare time but I want to try and make it grow uh, and share more. Uh, I've got more videos coming up, I've got the uh, brake lines and brake discs on the Type R, also refurbing the brake calipers and also servicing the Monday as well. So if you want to see this, you want to see more, keep liking, keep subscribing. Um, thank you very much again for watching. Peace.